Hi everyone and welcome back to Cardspiration week number nine for me. So this week my inspiration comes from a card I received in the mail. I was inspired by two cards but I'm going to just show you one um, first. This one I got from Yoli Bean here on YouTube a little while ago with a, and I loved how she used the top note shape and then a flower on the top and then the back of the card is just a little card. Isn't that cute? So I had to send a package so I made a very smaller version of it and it says you are very special to me and I cut all the flower and then a spot for a note on the back. So thanks Yuli, oh, Yuli. thanks Yoli for the inspiration for that card. And then um, we just had some out of town guests here from England. They uh, stayed with us for a few days on the weekend. And the week, my friend Janet, she's just so awesome. I just love her. The week before they arrived, this card came in the mail. And um, it says, Bestest Friends. And then she said, Looking forward to visiting you soon. And then it was one of these easel cards that stands up like that. So the whole week while I was waiting for them to arrive, I had this sitting in my kitchen and I kept looking at, at it and I just loved it. And I loved the way she colored the little girl with dark skin and her and me and her. So cute. And that's my hair color and her hair color. This is just so cute. I loved it. It was a very happy card. And so while she was here, I honestly didn't know how to make these easel cards. I thought I knew. I tried. But it's like anything, once you know new, once you know how, it's super, super easy. So um, it comes flat like that, and then it pops up like that. So I'm going to show you what I have to make, like mass produce some little Easter cards for my little grandsons. So I'm going to use that Easter, um, sorry, that easel card as my inspiration, but that's all I'm using from that, uh, just the easel. And the card front is something I saw on Pinterest. So I'm going to start with a card, white card stock, and I've cut it eight by four. I'm going to score it at four. And then I'm going to score it again at 6. So basically, this is 4 inches, and this is 2 sections of 2 inches each. And you notice my ring? This was from my last video for March Madness. I sent the lucky grand prize winner gets the kid on how to make it, and I love how it turned out. So what you're going to do is just fold this like a regular card, like so, and then you're going to fold this back on itself. So that is going to give you basically your card front. So it's going to look like like that. Okay. Next thing I did is I used English Garden paper, an eight by eight inch pad from um, Making Memories. This one here. So all of my paper selections came from here. It doesn't matter what size card you make as long as you just fold this back on itself. So it could be a big card, a little tiny card, whatever you want. So the next thing I did is I cut out, this card as I mentioned was four inch square. So I cut a three quarter inch square green uh, piece of printed paper from that uh, paper pack. So I'm just going to adhere that down in the inside. These are the easiest cards, and they're kind of fun to make, especially if you have a lot to make, like I do. So just pop that down. Try and center it as best you can. Then I took another piece of printed paper from the same pack, and I cut two inches by four. So this striped, and I'm going to put that just on this back piece here. And I found the easiest way was to just adhere the tape or whatever adhesive you're doing right close but up to that uh, score line that you made there. And then just take this and it should be the exact measurement but if it isn't you can always trim it a little bit. Well mine's pretty good. So there. So we've got that done. So we're going to leave this card front just for a second. Now, to create the card front, I took another 4x4 piece of white cardstock. 
I ran it through the Swiss dots on the cuddle bug there, you can see. So we're just going to put that down like that. And then um, on my computer, I used Elise font, and I wrote Hoppy Easter, and for the Hoppy, I italicized it so it was tilted and Easter. So I'm just going to take some scissors and just split that up. And then, again, this was really easy when you're doing five cards. You could just run one page of white cardstock. Easy peasy. So I'm just going to ink. This is Cool Caribbean by Stampin' Up. And the only reason I'm adding this little bit of color because the card is mostly just white other than that printed paper. So it pops a bit. So you can see Easter and Hoppy. And I'm going to take some foam tape and I'm just going to adhere that to this card front. Love this foam tape and I notice I'm running out of it so I'll have to go and pick some up from the dollar store. So you can just put that about like there and the other piece right along the bottom. Now in the center of our card we're just going to take a cotton ball or you know those things you use to take off your makeup or whatever, one of these. And I'm going to use my glue gun and just glue that down. This is my little bunny's tail. Glue that down, kind of, not necessarily in the center, a little center and down a little bit, and just squish it down. Next thing, I use this flower punch by Stamp It Up. I can't remember the name of it, but I used this one here. Oops that petal there, and this one. This one I use white cardstock. This one I use the pink from that paper stack, piece of pink printed paper, and I made bunny ears out of them. So I inserted the little pink piece into the white. And so normally I would glue this together with um, my ATG gun, but because I'm giving this to my grandsons, I know they're going to be playing with this a lot. So I'm going to adhere it on with a glue gun glue. So it's just the bottom part of the little ear there, the little pointy part. And I'm just going to put it right about there. And same thing with the other one. All these glue threads. There we go. And then I'm just going to adhere this piece right here just onto the front of that like so. Just going to again use glue gun glue because um, these little guys like to play with their cards which is really nice that they don't just um, set them aside and just throw them away. So there, that should be stuck on there pretty good. So I had to switch cameras because my other camera died. So we've got our card that looks like that. And the next thing I did is I got some recollection stickers from Michael's and they came like this. There were some Easter eggs and um, Little Chick there. I think I'm going to use Little Chick. And what you need, the trick to making these easel cards, is you need something that has a dimensional sticker on the back. Or you can use foam tape if you're going to use your own. So just apply it right there. I'm going to use Little Chick for this one. And so then your card is closed like this. And it fits nicely in my envelope, so I'm not worried about that. And so when they open it up, it says Happy Easter. And you store the little card like that that sits up like that. And I'm see if we can get a closer look so you can see the Swiss dot. It is just the cutest, simplest little card. So I've gone ahead and made four more. And if you'll notice on these ones, they've got um, stickles on their tails. And so I will apply some to this card as well. So that one's got an Easter egg, and that one's a purple egg, and that little one tucked over there has a little yellow egg. So those are my cards for inspira card inspiration number nine.
I think they're absolutely adorable, and I think my little grandsons are going to love playing with these little bunnies. So I'm just going to apply some Distress Stickle. This one is Clear Rock Candy. That's what I used on all of these. So thanks a lot for wa watching, and thanks everyone for all your continued inspiration.